So the cutscenes are getting about 90 to 100 frames per second. So I'm getting in position. Space Marines, heartening news. Abatus, the squad leader who defended the hamlet, is still alive. The orcs incapacitated him, but apparently could not finish the job. Abatus is too stubborn to die. So it would seem, Cyrus. An orc guard position stands between you and Sergeant Abatus. Approach with stealth and eliminate the greenskins. Understood. Um, so I haven't played this a lot, Pseudo. But I do not believe this is not a base building type of RTS. Not so, not a, not from what I've seen. I, I watched a couple of reviews from like Angry Joe, and welcome back, Swoop, from Angry Joe and Cynical and Total Biscuit, and that is the one thing that makes this different is that there is no base building. Uh, it's basically uh, so far it's been basically just managing troops, uh, and you have a hero troop, and then you have some uh, squad leader type troops. Uh, over here on the, the right hand side um okay yeah we're running at about 70 80 if I zoom out here it drops down significant eh. yeah it's all over the place and it's hitting one core is it hitting one core yeah it's hard to tell because I'm encoding right now but whatever alright let's go 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 I really don't know how to play this, so. This game is rather old. It's about six years old. Six or seven years old. Cyrus, I already own the game, but I've already, but I've obviously never played. I'm in the base building RTS games; they take too damn long. So, like Command and Conquer and stuff, or whatever. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't really played this either. This is like the second mission. Uh, I played it long enough to make sure the game ran before I streamed it. How's it going, Mithrath? Mithrath? So we'll find out what it does. But uh, I don't believe there's any base building in this game. Which means that, uh, I guess that means if your troops die, they're just dead. Because uh, there's no re way to replenish resources that I know of. So... But the detail is uh, pretty cool on the... On the... Uh, on the models here. I don't know how to control the camera. I mean, I don't even know if the camera can rotate. Uh, this is the same engine as Command and Conquer, so if you played Command and Conquer on Linux, you've had issues with that. I'm willing to bet you'll have the exact same issues with this. This may be a little bit older than Command and Conquer, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, let me move my characters over here. They, they got work to do. Ouch. Fight, fight, fight. I need to drop a drop a grenade on this right here. Bow. Damn this game is loud. Let me turn down the end game sound. Holy shit, it's blowing my ears away. Master value. Let's see. Um, does uh, Dawn of War work fine? Yeah, it seems to work fine. Uh, my specs are beneath the uh, or in the channel beneath the video. Uh, basically, a GTX 780 and a uh, i7 5820K. It 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 tries to stay at 60 frames per second. I haven't loaded the screen up with a bunch of uh, uh, units yet, which is where it's going to really die. And it seems to be single-threaded. Uh, so, 
if you have a high IPC CPU, that's better. But what usually happens is Frel will release a game and it will uh, and they will patch it usually within the, uh, a week or two or uh, a bit of time and smooth out any any issues that are found in the community. Alt for move camera. What driver do you use? I use the latest, whatever the latest GTX uh, NVIDIA driver is. So, well, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. Whatever the latest NVIDIA driver is that is available in the Ubuntu repos, that is what I use. The standard Ubuntu repos. Because I like easy mode be honest with you I don't want to fool with installing NVIDIA's I, I guess I could load up a PPA but I don't want to do that either alright what, what am I supposed to do now how to revive squad leaders oh shoot somebody's down to revive a hero select one of your conscious units and then click with your right mouse button on the hero whom you wish to revive oh okay alt yeah yeah okay this is now you see how it's kinda janky while scrolling it's because it's dropping below 60 when I'm doing this but not much it's, it's it got as low as that that I lied now I just got the 50 54 46 and I would consider this computer not of average gaming so like I said hopefully feral will release some patches anyways let me uh let me revive this guy revive how do you revive? Uh, I guess you just walk up to him. Oh, he's reviving him now. Damn orcs found another pass through the hills. There is a relay beacon near your position, Commander. Secure it, and we can deploy reinforcements to fill out your squads. All right. Capturing beacons. Let's go capture us a beacon. Go get it. Go, 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 go. This is pretty cool. If you like this sort of thing. I don't dislike this sort of thing. It's not my type of thing, but I don't dislike it. Reinforcements inbound. I could play this. Thanks to Feral, uh, we have many options now. I need to start playing Alien Isolation, huh, Swoop? Uh, you know what? I might stream that. I might, just like I did Bioshock, I might stream that. I might stream that entire playthrough on Linux. Yes, yes, that, that would be a thing. That would be a thing. Retake the Imperial Settlements. Settlements. English is really hard. All right. Uh... Let's see, what, what do we got? Go there. As you can tell, I'm not really an RTS guy. I keep I keep clicking the wrong mouse button. Seems to run fine though. Fight, fight, fight! Fight! Drive the orcs from the village. This kind of reminds me of XCOM. But yeah. Alright, retake the Imperial Settlement. So I guess I need to drive these orcs out of here. Come on, orcs. Uh, let's find me some cover. Seems like cover is pretty important in this game. Why is this dude in the building? Time out. Pause. Cold to see Sega Relic continue to record the game. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool that uh, Feral and Aspire and and then some, I guess, in-game uh, or in-house people via um I can't never remember that guy's name. Start starts with a Phil F I L. Uh, I can't say the name. And then uh, Ryan Gordon. The, it's good to see them getting some of these backlog. I mean, uh, some of these 
older games on Linux, which hopefully means that uh, if they continue making those same games or newer games with the same engines, that they can easily port their new games. That's what I would like to see. But anyways, to exit the building, select the building, then click left mouse button to exit all I on the exit all icon. Okay, okay, we can do that. We can do that. You guys get out. Get the hell out. Those orcs are turning tail. They could be going for help. Stay alert. Um, I don't know. I guess he doesn't want to leave. I'm confused. All right, whatever. We take the Imperial Settlement. Okay, wait. To exit building, select that building, then click left mouse button on the exit all icon. That's what I did. Wait, there's no exit all. Select the building. Select it. Where's this icon at? Am I just not seeing this exit all icon? There's no cross platform for this guy? That sucks. Especially a game that's this old uh, and probably has a rather small community anyways. Cross-platform would definitely revitalize it a little bit. I can't get my guys to leave. They don't want to leave. Oh, wait. There we go. You guys get out. What are you guys hiding in there for? Get in there. Um, it's using 63%. I don't, I, how many, I don't know how many units this is. I don't even know if there's a way to tell how many units I have. Uh, but it looks like about 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, about 10 or 11 units. It's using about 50 to 60% of my GPU. And it's hard to tell on my CPU because it's encoding, but there is one core that is maxed out at 100%. Which is pretty typical of these older games like this that get ported over. I've noticed. Uh, same thing happened with Tomb Raider. And I think they patched it to make it work better. So. Okay. Let me stop talking and start moving. Set up in heavy cover, Commander. The suppressive fire from my heavy bolter will keep the green skins pinned. Okay, so if you select a hero or squad leader. It selects everybody in that squad. That's nice to know. That's good to know. There. Devastators ready to fire. Our heavy bolters are deadly, but they take time to set up and have a limited field of fire. Oh snap. Man, the amount of gunfire noise in this game is ridiculous. Hold on, man. that is really annoying. I don't like that sound effects volume. I want to turn just down that gunfire crap. It's just too much. There we go. Pew 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 pew. Uh oh, Cyrus is about to die. Oh no, man down. You can select your squad, one, two, three, four. Okay, okay. Achievement, sweeping advance. Man down. Oh wait, he's not dead. He's not dead, cool. Obviously you played this uh, a lot, or at least a little, Mithrith, because. Yeah, they 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 way overdid it with the gun noise. And there's details like that that um that people pay attention to. Or maybe they don't pay attention to and Okay, where am I going? Yeah, or they don't pay attention to, but they notice. 
you know, like subconsciously. Things that annoy people. Audio design is really important to me. Capture the beacon. Go, 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 go. What is this? Commander, there is a second relay beacon near your position. Activate it to finish securing the hamlet. The hamlet. Excellent work, Commander. The hamlet is secure. More orcs are on the way, Commander. Set up your forces. To orcs are so cliche, but I'm, I'm not a. I, I have to make a confession. I am not familiar with the Warhammer universe. And apparently it's super, super popular. I did play D Dungeons and Dragons growing up. AD&D, stuff like that. I am pretty, I like fantasy. I loved Warcraft, but I don't know anything about these, uh, this Warhammer universe. And, and, uh, well, first of all, I don't like more orcs. I'm tired of orcs. Everything has orcs. So, D.O.W. Uh, Donald War for GNU Linux for five years. Uh, Donald War 3, I even out? What I'm looking forward to, what I thought was coming out by Pharaoh was um, the other game, Warhammer Total War. That should be coming out next. Be, uh, be looking out for that. Fight, fight, fight. Why are they just standing around? Fight? Oh, what's this? Raven Mantle acquired. Pause. Alright, what is this? What is a what is a Raven Mantle? And why can I not click it? Oh uh. Shoot him. Oh, cool. These guys have heavy backpack guns or some shit. Yeah, Total War, Total War Warhammer 40K or whatever. That is going to, that looks good. That was actually something I was looking forward to playing. And that, that's what was supposed to be coming out. I didn't even know this was coming out at all, but I guess it makes sense because it's the exact same engine as, as uh, I was about to say Call of Duty, not Call of Duty. Um, damn, I can't even mind fart. I can't even think of that game. Get behind cover, fool. Get up here so these guys can help you. Man down. Shit. Yeah, that's the game I'm talking about. C O H, which I still can't think of the name of. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, we're using about 80% GPU right now, so it's not too hard. Obviously, RTS games are CPU-bound games. That's always been a thing. See, like, why won't these guys in the building shoot out here? That's stupid. Out 1500 hours on Linux or just in general? Well done, Space Marines. Thunderhawks are on approach to return you to the Armageddon. Zeal and Fury are rewarded with victory. 
Improved power armor. Whatever that means. Made from thick ceramite plates and laced with electrically motivated fiber bundles. This heavy armor is distinctive of space marines. Cool. Uh, let's see. This guy leveled up. Cyrus. Force Commander. Tarkus. But, uh, I got some new stuff. Raven Mantle. Level 2 power armor. Plus 4 range. Plus Plus four percent range damage. So, uh, so you oh, so you got two thousand hours in the first one also. Or one of, okay, so you know about this these types of games. I'm not gonna lie. I am more of a FPS person. I like FPS. No, actually, you know what? I like adventure games. Um, I don't know what to do with this stuff. So, moving on. 